I've just arrived at Denmark. Where are we? Billund? Billund, yes. Billund, so we're off to Tropica shortly. I'm hungry. Uh, I look really bad. Before AM? Yeah, we got up, yeah, somewhere around half past three this morning. It's now 10 a.m. local time in Denmark. Yeah. See you soon. We're riding a brand new Nissan Qashqai. Look at the roof. Oosh. Beautiful day here in Denmark. We're on our way to Aarhus, which is the nearest kind of city to Tropica, HQ. Can't wait to get in there. Can't wait. I'm really hungry. Can't wait for some lunch. They normally do really nice food, don't they? Nice. They do nice food for us. Maybe go out for some of these sandwiches. Maybe go out for lunch or some sandwiches. How many tanks are we doing here is today? Or in the next few days in fact? Next few days, yeah. So we have uh, three big tanks, 250 liters each. So probably one meter by 50 by 50. And three smaller aquariums and they will be different. So one be will be like beginner's 60 centimeters tank. Uh, another one will be a 50 liter Skaper's tank, the same one like we did in the live stream. Yeah. At the workshop at Aquarium Gardens. Mm -hmm. Check out the video. And the last one will be, I think, a 60D optimized aquarium. Nice. That's going to be like the full on high tech, yeah. high energy. Yeah. And as you can guess, Tropica is based, like, the philosophy is all the clouds are divided in easy, medium, advanced categories. That's what we will try to, to show off. To show off with three, the three basic. Uh, so it's like a traffic light system so green is the easy plant orange is like the medium and then red for advanced so um, yeah it's gonna be good fun uh, so this is juniper woods and ancient juniper my friends ancient ancient juniper ancient. Um, it's been here un before you and I were born uncollected by theories by virgins under full moonlight virgin women very beautiful. Very nice. Uh, all models. All, yeah, wow, oh, there you go. <laughs> I think, think Yuri's has been on the beer already. Uh, just took too much cut the color. It's sugar shot. Sugar, sugar, sugar. So these are the three main tanks we're going to be skating at Intizu here at Tropica. And I'll show you the other tanks in a bit. But we're just rock rocking up some rough hard skate layouts. And we've got a plant in this that we need to stick to. So they're going to be obviously hard skates, but the, the focus is, uh, is going to be more on the plants. Um, obviously, because Tropica is a, is a plant supplier, so we need to show off the plants the best we can. What are you doing here, is? Yes, I'm, I'm doing like a planting method for this hardscape. This hardscape is a similar size aquarium like this one, but we will get tonight original 8860H aquarium. This is the planting method from above. Uh, I should have put the paper under this. <laughs> it would be more easy uh, to draw. But... Hi everyone, I'm George and today I am at Tropica headquarters in Denmark with my good friend Juris, a fellow German professional aquascaper. I'll link to his channel right now. So the aim of the two day kind of aquascaping exercise that we've been doing is to scape seven aquascapes ready for a trade show called Interzoo in Germany. It's a real big deal. It's one of the biggest in the world, aquatic trade shows. And Tropica, who are a very well known Danish plant company, attend every Interzoo and they have epic aquascapes. And the idea is the aquascapes are created and then grown in, especially for the show. And that's why I'm here with Yuri's. So for the last two days, we've been aquascaping seven tanks. Uh, it's been really good fun. Yuri's has pretty much led the, led the two day kind of exercise with, with obviously my help. Uh, we've both had a you know, creative input, but we've had a, quite a strict kind of list of plants as well we've needed to use. And we've incorporated all of these into seven very different aquascapes. It's been a bit of a challenge, but we think we've executed it very well. But I'll leave that guys up to you to decide. You know, let me know in the comments, uh, what's your favorite scape and why? Okay, so this is the first aquascape I'm gonna talk about. This is in the easy category of plants. So if you didn't know, Tropica have a very 
a well-known uh, categorization system of their plants. They come in easy, medium and advanced. Each is uh, on, the, on the label of the plant itself. So this is easy, which is the green. This is medium, which is the orange label. And this is advanced, which is the red label. So when we say easy, we mean all the plants can be grown easily without CO2 injection, in like a plain gravel, and without the need for many liquid fertilizers and you know uh, low to moderate lighting. So all of these plants here will succeed in the vast majority of aquarium setups. And despite them being very easy plants, I think you'll agree it looks pretty stunning already. And we've used some Marsalea Hisuta there in the foreground. There's plenty of Bukia philandra in there, plenty of Cryptocorines, some Microsorum tridents and regular Microsorum narrow. Echinodorus blerii, which is the Amazon sword there in the background. And we've got some Balisneria spiralis tiger also. Some Styrogyne repens. So all easy plants, but just shows that you can still create a really nice aquascape without having to use demanding plants. Okay, next scape, this is the medium category. Uh, quite a distinctive scape, this one. We've got two on the roofs coming down vertically, almost like tree trunks. But the planting arrangement is quite formal, We're using quite neat rows and arrange arrangements of the plants there. We've got some Heliocaris hair grass there in the foreground. Uh, we've got some Staragini there in the midground. Got some beautiful Altenanthera pink there. The variegated leaves, stunning plant there. We've got some of the classic Lobelia cardinalis there in the midground, and then in the background right there, in the background left, we've got some Cryptocoryne undulata broadleaf. And then finally in the background, which is very short at the moment, that is Rotala H. Ra or Rotala Vietnam H. Ra. Um, this is tissue culture. A lot of the plants in here are tissue culture. So obviously they're going to be quite small for now, but they'll soon grow. Okay, this is the advanced tank. So a lot of the plants in here are under the red label, which means advanced, so relatively demanding. Uh, so they'll need ideally you know, moderate to high light, high lighting levels, CO2 injection, regular fertilization and a nutrient rich substrate. So we've got some uh, beautiful Hemianthus cuba there in the foreground and running into the background forming a that's going to form a beautiful lawn like an open space we've got some buca phalandra there which is an easy plant but we've added that just to add some extra sort of textures and colors we've got some of this ella Aereo Kaulon here which is this small spiky plant which is a very slow grower uh, but beautiful and the, the texture matches that of the cryptocryne albeda brown uh, which i think is one of the most stunning crypts available Moving up, we've got the classic Microsorum Trident there. And then we've got some Hygrophila costata in the background, which is going to form a beautiful, bright green bushy appearance. And the wood is, if you're wondering what the wood is, this is an ancient juniper wood. Beautiful wood to work with. First time I've really worked with it properly. And this is supplied by uh, our friend Yuri from Germany. And it is stunning really nice fine textures arguably a little bit similar to manzanita but a bit more spiky a bit more kind of uh, uh, finer and gnarly it's, it's really really beautiful oh and we've, uh, we've got some more crypts there in the background and then we've got some nymphia lotus as well as a, an accent focal point so the tanks themselves these are um, made custom built for Tropica by a company which Tropica uses for every inter zoo and uh, you see they're situated on pallets right now and that's to make the transportation really easy so these tanks are going to be uh, maintained largely by Yuri's but also by some of the staff here at Tropica there will be frequent water changes appropriate liquid fertilizers co2 added and so hopefully by by the time the inter zoo happens which is in May these aquascapes will be fully mature and looking their absolute best so no pressure for Yuri's. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to my friend Yuri. He's wearing his Bushi t-shirt. Yeah, Bushi. 
Palandra. Do you want to just tell, uh, tell us about this tank, Elise? Yeah, so this tank is kind of special um, to all the other tanks. Um, we have easy, medium, advanced. This one sticks out to a sort of biotope aquarium. Uh, it's not made by biotope rules at all, so it's just biotope style. Biotope theme. Yeah, yeah biotope theme. Uh, it's supposed to be Southeast Asia mm -hmm. region, so we try to use most plants that also come in this uh, region. So we have Pilioharis, we have Crypts, we have Pusifalandra, Hygrophila, Pinadifida. It's obviously it's coming from India, I think. Yeah, the um, Pinadifida is supposed to come from India. Yeah. yeah. So I think Valisneria is common in Asia as well. Yeah. Uh, we have Rotalas in here. And for the moment, mm -hmm. we're gonna add some uh, bulbitis, uh, like really small plantlets of bulbitis to the driftwood uh, in a four week period when the blooming is over. And um, if you see the aquarium, like from the side, you see a double bottom part where the water is returned. Um, this aquarium is made in a partnership with Hunter Rye, they're known for their biotop aquariums flow tanks, so the bottom part is for the flow. We have some, I don't know, kind of 100,000 liters uh, flow, but the whole volume of water is moving and not just a thin stream, so it's, you can't compare to regular pumps or filters, so just the entire uh, water column is moving. So water goes in the bottom to the left, is rising here, and is moving through the aquarium. Yeah. I'll and leave a link to the Panzerai shop uh, right now, and you'll get an idea of this style of aquarium. Yeah. We are planting without water, like dry, so we have to spray from time to time to prevent the plants from drying out. And uh, I have just attached the filter over here while George was recording the previous uh, yeah, parts of the video. We have a Eheim Professional 3 down here. Uh, the, bottom is, the aquarium is bottom drilled, so all the technique is coming from the bottom, even for the flow pump itself. So the aquarium will be built in into a table. Uh, it, go, it will go like this deep inside the table, so you only see the top part. The so water is moving, you don't see any technique. Um, equipment. equipment. Yeah, all the equipment is invisible, so you can see this bit here where the water is going to be flowing through and this kind of ugly silicon work. That's all going to be hidden by, by a bar, basically, by a table. So you'll yes. literally just see the surface of the substrate, so it will create this illusion. There's no equipment on show, you've got this really fast flowing water, there's laminar flow throughout the whole water column. Really quite unique and really quite a special aquascape. Yeah. If you come over here, this is also quite very special for this aquarium. If you look into this, we have two drills for the tubing of the biological filtration and over here we have uh, the power coming in to the aquarium like underwater through the bottom for, for the flow pond so we don't have a single cable going inside the aquarium like literally like nothing so you don't see anything and these pumps are really special these are abyss pumps our pants are right pumps even um which are really really powerful but and, and completely controllable as well so, so yeah this is probably the most kind of special tank the most kind of tank that's going to cause the most um discussion and conversation interview i would say Hopefully no controversy. Hopefully not. Thanks, Yuri. Okay, moving on to the absolute beginner-friendly tank. This is an Eheim all-in-one system, 54 litres. Uh, the simplest of plants to grow. Uh, no soil, just plain gravel. Well, uh, sorry, Tropica plant substrate underneath plain gravel. Some crypts, some, crypt, some ferns, anubias, moss balls. We've got some easy stem plants in the background and this just shows what can be achieved with the most basic of systems. So here we have the Danale Escapers tank. This is the new size, this is 55 litres. Comes complete with the trocol LED lighting and the external filter there attached to the side. And this is a kind of medium category aquascape. So all the plants are in the medium category. Uh, we've got some some Rio bites there attached to the wood. So we've got some Bulbitis there, we've got some Hygrophila pinnata feeder, and then beneath that in the shaded area we have some Anubius petite, and then behind that we have some beautiful with the heart shaped Anubius gracilis. Background wise, on the left we have the Microsorum umbrosum, and then on the right we have the Micranthum and Mic Micranthumoides, and these are going to be trimmed in this beautiful V shape, U shape kind of pattern here to create a really beautiful composition. 
And then mid-ground we have some Rotala bonsai. You can't really make it out there, it's so small, it's tissue culture. Uh, but that's going to add a little bit of colour, a little bit more, more of a, a texture and an ornamental kind of vertical appearance. And we have Altanaptor a mini there, the pink, beautiful pink plant. And in the foreground we've got the Eleocaris mini. So this is the advanced category Aquascape, got no holds barred, complete kind of free range on plants and hardscape. And this is an AVA 60H, so this measures 45 centimetres tall, 60 long, 30 front to back. So quite an interesting size uh, tank to Aquascape. Being taller than it is wide, I'm used to the other way around. I like I prefer slightly shallower and wider tanks. But, the, but it is a beautiful tank, as you can see. ADA quality, obviously, premium brand. We have the Aquas... Uh, oh, nearly said Aquasky then. That would have been inappropriate. This is the uh, Twinstar 600S. Real big fan of these lights. I use these at home. Really good quality. RGB and white LEDs there. You can see the colour rendition. It looks beautiful. And this is a kind of classic Iwagumi. We may be fixing some wood in there later on. I won't spoil the surprise. Uh, going from the background planting wise, we have the Cypress Hell Ferry, which is going to create a, a beautiful kind of flow. Then we have some Helianthum Tunnelum, some more of the Aereo Cowl on there. We've got some of the Monte Carlo just wedged in between the rocks. This is a little trick that I learned from Yuri. It's a really, really neat trick. That you can just poke in Monte Carlo and it kind of droops. It'll kind of droop over the rocks and downwards and look really really cool uh, and then we have a very tricky plant this is called elatine hydropiper which is this really really small leaf plant and i probably took about two hours planting this yesterday repairing and planting it from tissue culture and it was very tricky and when i filled up with the water the first time half of it floated which is always really good fun okay so uh, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks to Yuri for inviting me over to Interzoom. Obviously, thanks to Tropica for making me part of this awesome kind of aquascaping marathon, if you like. Um, any final words from Yuri before we go? Aquascaping. <laughs>